There we, there we go. Big one. Big one, dude. Big one. Get the nut. Get the nut, man. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. It feels like fall is in the air. I think that the air temp is like 55 degrees out right now, and a lot of these fish should be pushing up shallow. Hopefully, it's about to be a banger day, but today we have a special guest on the YouTube channel. He just drove like three, three and a half hours across the state, woke up at 3 a.m., and we we're out here at 7 in the morning fishing with Extreme Outdoorsman. What's up, guys? Dylan Grubb. Yep, there we go. Ready to catch him this morning. <clears throat> so hopefully it's going to be a good day. Uh, I really want to put Dylan on some fish since he did make such a long trip out here, but uh, we're about to get to it here. Going to start out with the top water, and hopefully these fish, like I said, they're going to be feeding up for fall. There's literally bait fish busting all over this channel right now, and it should be a good day. I'm hoping, praying, should be a good day. Stick around, stay tuned. Let's just jump right into it. Yeah. Oh. There we go. First one of the day, very small. Just barely slurped up the popper right there. That's not what we're after. Slick's got a lot of like three and four pounders and uh, this is about a three incher. So hopefully we're gonna get into them a little bit better than that. Dinky there you go, high. dinky. Maybe half a pound. Dinky in the top water. I've never fished this lake. Okay, boys and girls, top water bite has not panned out this morning. So we're gonna go actually chase after some smallmouth bass. So. We are mostly looking for largemouth up here shallow, and I think that they just aren't quite into that full fall pattern yet, so smallmouth it is. We're gonna go chuck the swim bait around, probably chuck a net rig around, and hopefully stick into some big old brown fish. There we go. Yeah, fish on. Fish on, another dinky smallie, I think. Yes, sir. Back to back, little baby smallmouth bass. Not what we're after, man. Bunch of little smallmouth starting to move up, get the fall feed on. Ned rig is getting it done, but just not catching the quality quite yet. Hopefully, we're gonna stick into some good ones. Here. Small, dude. Yeah, a little smallie. That's a good sign, though. Little smallmouth bass on this little offshore point, and hopefully they're gonna be stacked up there. Hopefully that's the first of many. But all we've got so far are these little dinks. That one's probably the best one yet, and it's, you know, maybe a half pound or whatever. Eight inch smallmouth bass, but usually smallmouth like to school up in the fall, so I'm hoping that there's going to be some more up here. So, midday update for you guys. It has been an absolute grind out here. Let me kill this motor for y'all real quick, but it's been a grind. We've only caught a few dinks, probably didn't even put them all in the video. We caught like three little smallmouth, one little largemouth, and a few rock bass, but have not stuck a single solid fish. And uh, we're actually about to hop lakes because it's just we gotta it's, find them. It's not, it's not <laughs> working here, so. We're gonna move lakes, so stick around, stay tuned. Hopefully the next one, the next one's got a ton of fish in it. We're gonna catch a lot of like 12 to 14 inches, but there's also some giant bass in there. Like one of us might hook like a five, six pounder. No promises, but it could happen. We'll but done. we're about to go head over to that lake though, guys. So uh, we'll be right back with you with hopefully some better sized fish. The first lake, like I said, was a big bust, but we have just arrived to lake number two and we're gonna pull out a little rig that a lot of you guys probably have never seen before. Maybe heard of it, but probably a lot of you have never thrown this. We're gonna be throwing a power shot. Straight 65 pound braid, big old three quarter ounce weight, and we got a little three out zone lock flipping hook on there. And we're gonna put a little bio spawn exopod on here, start flipping this around some docks, flipping this around some of these pads, and hopefully, like I said, there are some giants in here. Hopefully we're gonna be leaning into some very big bass in just a moment, but a little power shot rig, three out zone lock, and uh, gotta turn this day around. Had a very, very rough morning. Literally fished for like four hours, and I caught maybe like four bass that were my size of my hand. Very, very small, so gotta start getting right back on track and uh, try to link into like a five pounder here. There we go. On that little zone lock flipping hook, boys. Power shot, getting it done. First one of this new lake right here. Dylan actually just caught like an almost three pounder that I did not get on camera, yeah. but we just stuck this little That's chunk right here, one. get her back in the water, throwing that little zone lock flipping hook on this power shot though. So we've been here for about 10 minutes. Go. You got one too? There you go, dude. Right after I caught That's that last great. one, yes sir. So like I was saying, boys and girls, we literally just got to this lake. Dylan guy. caught an almost three pounder, and then we just doubled up pretty much on these two little guys right there, but. I'm flipping around this power shot, zone lock, flipping hook, and uh, he's throwing that net rig right off the break, and both of them seem to be working. So, gonna keep flipping this around, try to get a bigger bite for you guys. I'm sorry that I missed that three pounder. It was a pretty good fight, but go check out his channel, you guys could see it. Hopefully, we're gonna stick into a three plus ourselves as well, though. Got it. Oh, there we go. Got him on that power shot rig. Yes, sir, another like little one pounder. I have not caught a single nice fish today, but 
we'll take him. Another little chubby guy right there. That three-out zone lock is getting it done up here in this shallow water. A little chubber going back in the lake. Dylan was actually just pulling off a snag back there, and I just was sitting there, and I just felt my line just go boom, just thump down. I wasn't even paying attention. She smoked it. Average is only like 10 to 12 inches, though. Yeah. Like, that one that you caught was a rare one. Like, I feel like I've caught more, like, four and five pounders than, like, two and three quarters. Like, that's a weird, like, middle-of-the-road fish. Don't see a lot like that. Three. There we, there we go. Big one. Big one, dude. Big one. Get the net. Get the net, man. Get the net on the power shot. Oh, buddy. Get him in the net. Get him in the net. That's a giant. We were just talking about it, dude. Yes. We were just talking about that that's right there. Tank. Oh, yeah, baby. That zone lock, three eye <laughs> flipping hook, that little bio spawn exopod to the face. Holy We're crap. recording. That's got to be about a five pounder. Yeah. <laughs> And that's be. why we're flipping the pads, boys. <laughs> yes. Like, I know we could catch a lot more fish off the break, but I knew that if I flipped this up in the pads right there, eventually you're going to get a big bite. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's get the scale oh, out. So, boys and girls, we finally found ourselves a grown bass right there. The first one that I've caught that's been a keeper bass in Michigan, 14 inches or bigger, happens to be probably about a five pounder. We're going to put her on the scale right here and find out. Flip that little biospawn exopod up in the pads and, uh, she crunched it. She absolutely crunched it. She's right at five. 4.96 pounds. Just a hair shy of five, dude. That is a beauty. That's a beautiful bass right there. 4.96er. <sighs> Gonna get a couple pictures of this fish and then get her back in the water. Beautiful, beautiful bass right there, guys. Here she goes. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Check that beast out. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, boys. Good Let's fish, go. Man, that was sweet. <laughs> so that right there is the fish that we've been looking for all day. We have not caught a lot of bass, but the ones that we've got, he's got like about a three pounder and we just stuck in almost five, just a hair under five pounder. And uh, we got to do some sponsor plugging because that was awesome. And we got that thing on the zone lock hook. You probably heard me say it about five times, but they pin them up and they do not let go. I was throwing that on a little three out zone lock flipping hook and a straight 65 pound braid up in the pads. And also one other sponsor I want to thank right here, Ego S2 Slider scooped up that big beast and uh, she was hooked good, but I set the hook so hard. It had the hole like really, really big in her mouth. One bad move for me and that fish would have been gone, but we're starting to get into them guys. So we're going to keep flipping around, hopefully flip up some more big ones for you guys. We're kind of running out of pads to flip. So I don't know what else we're going to be able to do, but we're probably going to go skip some docks, throw offshore. There's a lot of big fish in this lake and uh, you just kind of kind of weed through a lot of the little ones you got to catch like 50 little ones and then all of a sudden five pounder just like that so we caught an absolute giant flipping that power shot rig then you know caught a couple other ones here and there but we're gonna kind of switch up pace here start throwing the dead rig start throwing the jig off the break and maybe around some docks as well but hopefully we're gonna catch another giant like they're in here as you guys saw there are big big bass in here but there's also a ton of little ones so we're probably gonna catch a bunch more but hopefully one of them is just gonna be an absolute freak again got one little guy little guy not a five pounder first cast with the jig boys and girls literally just hucking around this little heavy metal tungsten jig with that bio spawn exopod trailer so pretty much same bait that we just caught that five pounder on but now we just got it on the back of a jig right there little bass going back in oh there we go that's a better one i don't think it's oh dude i actually don't know it's pretty good i don't think it's like a giant but it's a good one. Oh yeah come on that's in here nice come on in this boat sir there we go that's not a five pounder but we will take that all day freaking nice like two and a half right there little uh heavy metal tungsten jig in that bio spawn exopod trailer for that fish probably like a 16 17 incher beautiful nice probably like 16 incher nice one right there jig fish all day son get that fish back in the water nice solid one Still looking for another monster though. Another another five plus pounder. If we could crack a six too. Whoo, that's what we're going for. <laughs> Dude, they are on this jig, man. It is one after another. I'm not even showing you guys all the fish catches because a lot of them look just like that, but we just cracked like 10 in a row back to back to back on this jig. They're munching it. I'm just going to show you guys the better ones probably from now on, but we're catching a lot of fish just like that. So that is going to be a wrap on today's video, guys. We caught a ton of tiny little fish, but luckily we also stuck into one that actually mattered. A nice, solid, almost five pounder, just a hair shy. 
and uh, just had an awesome day in the water fishing with Dylan. First time that we ever met up in person, so had a great time out here fishing with him. Definitely go check out his channel as well. He caught a nice fish that I didn't even get on camera, so if you guys want to see that, it's going to be over there. I think that his video is going to be up a little bit after mine, though, but... Had a good time out there. We were throwing that drop shot, that power shot rig up in the pads and we caught that freaking behemoth on that little biospawn exopod. But if you guys want to check out any of the gear that we are using in today's video, it's all going to be linked down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you guys in the next one.